He learned on a certain day that his senior had given him a lie, he was acquitted. Then Manji assassinated his senior with the help of others. However, Manji's brother-in-law was present, and Manji had also taken his life. Manji's sister had observed everything, and as a result, she began to suffer from mental illness. Manji had kept his sister with him after these episodes. After that occurrence, Manji announced wanted. Manji was in the jungle with his sister one day. Then he comes across a lady. For the past 800 years, that lady has been living. When Manji was speaking with the lady, a big group of bounty hunters arrived to kill Manji. They kidnap Manji's sister. Manji tells them that if they let my sister go, he will not harm them. The group's leader then tells Manji to put his weapons away. Manji is in agreement with him. The head of this group kills Manji when he maintains all weapons on the ground and Manji's sister begins to move towards her brother. When Manji notices this, he becomes enraged. He assassinates each of the members of this gang one by one. Meanwhile, one of Manji's eyes is gravely injured. His face has also been harmed as a result of this. During the fight, one of Manji's hands was also cut. Before Manji, the only surviving member of the group is the group's leader. Manji also assassinates the group's leader. But he'd also become severely injured. Then the same lady reappears, having survived for 800 years. Kill me, said Manji to the lady. I've also lost my life's final meaning. That lady, on the other hand, injects sacred bloodworms into his body. Those bloodworms repair Manji's body as a result of this. Manji's disjointed hand is also beginning to recover. That's not all. However, Manji had now become immortal. He'd never be able to die. After that, the scenario in the movie is transported forward 52 years, and we see a master giving a lesson to a class. Rin, the master's daughter, was also receiving training here. The society's leader, Anotsu, then arrives with his troops. As he approaches, he kills everyone. Later, he returns to the master. ITT Rai was the name of one of Anastu's group members. He desired to have members of his society all throughout the world. He used to murder anyone who refused to support him. When the master refuses to join him, he kills him as well. Later, he also murders his wife. He does, however, spare the life of the master's daughter Rin. After the death of her parents, Rin has become extremely hostile. Rin resolves to exact vengeance on her parents. Then the same lady who had cured Manji appears. Coming here, she tells Rin that he should get a bodyguard. She can't do anything on her own. If she employs Manji to help her, her job will be a lot easier. Because Manji is inexhaustible. Rin now agrees with her. And she's on the lookout for Manji. Rin seeks for Manji after a long fight. Who used to be a hut dweller. When Manji sees Rin, he is taken aback since Rin looks just like her deceased sister. Rin tells Manji the entire story. She also asks that he assist her in avenging her parents. However, Manji refuses to assist her. People would think he's a killer, he says to Rin. When Rin returns home after speaking with Manji, she sees a man. He was a samurai assassin and a member of the ITT Rai society. Rin's mother's head was resting on his left shoulder. Rin tries to kill him, but he manages to save himself. Manji is also present. This man and Manji are engaged in a fierce battle. After attacking Manji, this man leaves him wounded. He then attempts to assassinate Rin. When this man was about to strike Rin, Manji attacked him from behind as he was getting up. And then he passes away. Now that man was perplexed as to who Manji was. Manji also informs Rin that he is mortal. Manji is now preparing to assist Rin in his quest for vengeance. On the other hand, Anotsu, who was making a deal with a man, can be observed. With the help of that individual, he planned to open the Ito Ryu school. However, he stipulates that he will be the school's principal. That man now requests that he consult with his council members. Following that, Anotsu learns about the man's death. Who was the victim of Manji's assassination? Anotsu now dispatches another man to look for Manji and Rin. When Rin goes to another guy to have her sword made, 
she sees that her father's weapon has been placed there as well. Now the same man who had been dispatched by Anotsu to find Rin marches away, taking the sword with him. He did not, however, notice Rin there. Rin rushes up to Manji and informs him that she has seen a man near a shrine, who is in possession of her father's sword. Manji is now on the lookout for that man. That man, on the other hand, looks for Manji. When there is an excessive amount of fighting between them. Then Manji becomes stuck in the mud. That man grows heavy on that man as a result of this. Finally, Manji defeats that man and saves his life. That Manji is everlasting now that he has known about it. He then hands the blade to Rin, snatching it from the man. That individual returns to Anotsu. In addition, he discloses Manji's immortality. He declares that he is not a human but a monster. He claims that the blood worms he has inserted have healed his wounds. It is seen in the next scene when Rin and Manji travel to a restaurant, where an assassin arrives who was also dispatched by Anotsu to kill Rin. That assassin tells Manji, if you want, we can both end Anotsu. Manji, on the other hand, does not agree with him. That assassin then strikes Manji right after that. That man is likewise killed by Manji, who attacks him with his sword. When Manji starts to walk away after killing him, that man is still standing there alive. And, like Manji, he claims to be immortal. And he claims to have been alive for the past two years. Then, out of nowhere, he hits Manji with his sword. Manji's wounds are now starting to bleed. Because the man had poison spread on his blade. Bloodworms in Manji's body were weakened as a result of the toxin. Those bloodworms, on the other hand, were unable to treat Manji's wounds. That man has now left, taking Rin with him. As that man was about to kill Rin. Manji arrives, and the combat between them resumes. Manji now stabs that man's body with all of his weapons. Regardless, that man does not suffer any harm. That man then rubs the poison on his blade once more. He then assaults Manji once more. But, drawing his sword, Manji dismembers his body. But it was all because of that man's ruse. Because his life had angered him so much. He now desired to be free of his life. Anotsu can be seen on the other side. Who had been given authority over his school. He was ecstatic to be here. Because all schools were required to follow his directives. After then, a man appears and he informs Anotsu of the man's death, who was invincible. Manji had assassinated him. Now Anotsu sent a female disciple to assassinate Manji and Rin. While going there, the girl attacks Manji. Manji, on the other hand, had lost his strength, because his wounds had not fully healed. That female seriously injures Manji. With her sword, that girl also dislocates Manji's hand. But she realizes now that she had no such reason at the time, that she was confronted with Manji. Then Rin appears in front of the girl, with a sword. And she assures her that Manji is watching over her. And I'm not going to let him die. Following this, that girl also departs from the ITT Rai community. Rin is now tending to Manji's wounds. When she goes to the forest for practice the next day, she notices Anotsu there. She continues to be uncontrollable. She is now attacking him in retaliation for his vengeance. He, on the other hand, is easily rescued from Rin. He informs Rin that he killed her father in retaliation for his grandfather's death. He doesn't hurt Rin and then walks away. The next day, Manji and Rin meet with a group member. Anotsu was also a target for the gang. As a result, Manji and Rin are added to the gang. They are aware that Anastu will be moving to a new location. They intend to assassinate him while on their way there. They are now following him. On the way, they run into Anotsu. He wasn't, however, Anotsu. They had entrapped them by sending a girl in the place of Anastu and forcing her to wear Anotsu's attire. They are surrounded by members of the ITT Rai gang at the same time. Now Manji and a boy from another group are fighting them together. The other member of the gang is now attempting to misbehave with that female. Who had arrived under the guise of Anotsu. Then Rin intervenes and prevents him from doing so. And he tries to assassinate Rin. 
Manji now slices the same man's hand. He was attempting to injure Rin with it. That man then flees. Manji now transports Rin back to her house and tends to her wounds. He also feeds her food. Here, he also tells Rin his narrative. How he had mourned the loss of his sister. When Manji returns home, he discovers a letter written by Rin while he was away. And viewing the letter that Rin had gone to avenge on his own, he understood. She didn't want Manji's life to be jeopardized as a result of her. However, Manji pursues Rin in order to find her. On the other hand, Anotsu, who had gone to meet with a member of that council, can be seen. This council member had previously let him attend school, but now he forbids it. Now Anotsu realizes that the man had him captivated. Anotsu is now surrounded by a large number of council members. Then he starts fleeing. While looking for him, Rin also comes this way. He informs Rin that ITT Rai is now considered illegal. If you wish to save your life, you can also flee. On the other hand, all members of ITT Rai were seen to have died. In the forest, some people surround Manjiu and begin to beat him, entangling Chain in his hands. Before they are able to kill him, Manji chops his hand, but his hand is reattached once it is retrieved. Later, he kills all three men present. Who was it that sought to make him a victim? On the other hand, Anotsu and Rin were encircled by a large crowd. Then a man arrives to assassinate Rin. At the same moment, the character Manji arrives. And then he kills him. Manji tells everyone that if anyone tries to kill Rin, they would not be allowed to stay alive. On their chief's command, everyone gets ready to combat. They also attack Manji. Manji and Anotsu are pitted against each other. And their battle will go on for a long time. Anotsu is injured throughout this battle. The same girl arrives, having been dispatched by Anotsu to assassinate Manji and Rin. Manji, on the other hand, had suffered serious injuries. Meanwhile, that other man arrives. Whose hand was slashed by Manji. He flees, abducting Rin. All of the people here are killed by Manji. And while rescuing Anotsu here, that girl also dies. She also makes a self-sacrifice for Anotsu. On the other hand, Manji goes to that man in order to save Rin. That man had positioned the pointed weapons in his hand. He tells Manji to keep all firearms on the ground level. Manji, on the other hand, does not repeat his past errors. He also carries a tiny knife with him at all times. And, given the opportunity, he cuts Rin's rope to release her. Rin then flees the scene. While fighting, Manji and that man both fall from a mountain. While that man catches a creeper plant for support, Manji retains his balance. That dude was dangling from the sufficient bottom side. He says, Manji, I'll definitely come back to murder you. Following this, Manji cuts the creeper plant that was caught by the man who was without one hand. Now he collapses and gasps for air. Anatsu and a council member, on the other hand, were fighting. Anotsu was enraged because the council member had murdered the girl. He then divides the body of that council member into two pieces. Only Manji, Anotsu, and Rin had survived. The fight between Manji and Anotsu begins here. Their battle will last for a long time. Finally, Manji triumphs against Anotsu. He does not, however, take Anotsu's life, instead, he assigns this responsibility to Rin. As a result, Rin may seek vengeance on her parents. Anotsu threatens them, saying, after my death, my children will avenge you. Rin was going to